this morning's Eye on Money, how to fund your retirement with a tax refund. With the tax filing deadline less than one month away, the IRS has already handled more than 67 million returns. A large majority of taxpayers, more than 55 million, will get a refund. The average is just over $3,000. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here with the best ways to use that money when it comes to planning your retirement. Jill, always great to have you on. Thank Good you morning. so much for being here. So if you're thinking about investing your return in a retirement fund, what is the best choice? You know, we're looking at, say, an IRA or a Roth IRA. That's the thing that people hear about the most. And there's a lot of confusion. With a traditional IRA, you get a tax deduction today, okay? The money grows without any tax until you retire. When you take the money out, the money is taxed at whatever tax bracket you are in in the future. A Roth IRA is different. No tax deduction today. Money still grows without any taxation. But when you take the money out later, there's no tax due. When I first got into the financial planning business 100 years ago, we used to say <laughs> Roths are good for people who are young and their incomes are going to rise. But that has changed. A lot of people believe that putting that money away today in a Roth is really advantageous because tax brackets are dropping. So I would encourage everyone to really take a hard look at the Roth. Are there limits to contributing to a Roth? So there absolutely are. There are income limits uh, as a single $133,000 or less for last year's taxes. For this year, it's one thirty-five. dollars And if you're married filing jointly for 2018, it's below about $199,000. So most people can do it. If you are lucky enough to make lots and lots of money and you can't contribute, there's something called a backdoor Roth. You put money into a non-deductible IRA and you quickly convert it to a Roth and poof, you've got a Roth IRA. What happens if you have a company 401k? Should you just kind of put your tax refund in that or is this something you should open up in addition to what you already have? It really depends on what your plan is invested in. A lot of big retirement plans are great. They've got awesome options. Of course, you would know that because most people spend spend a lot more time looking at how much my Netflix costs. I think 96% of people know what their streaming costs versus 27% who know how much their retirement plans cost. If you've got a great retirement plan, use it. If not, use your plan up to the match and open a Roth IRA with the difference. All right, Jill Schlesinger, always good to have you here. Thank you. Sure.